the energy in this community. This is fantastic. Good morning. It's a great morning. I am fired up, honored, so grateful to be here. Uh, a huge, massive thank you to the PKX crew, Creative Mornings, all that you do. And of course, each and every one of all of you for being here. Because, you know, half a life is just getting up, showing up, and being here, right? So right there, nicely done. Um, it, I'm so, so excited to be here. We're going to talk a little bit about um, the mental game. But first and foremost, there's the most special effect of life that I want to share with you is that when one human being... When one human being can improve the life of another human being, can really improve the well-being of another human being. And I guarantee each and every one of you here today, personally and professionally on your life journey, have improved someone else's life. And someone in your journey has improved your life. So I want to keep that on top of mind today about improving each other's lives, because that's what it's about. But also, most importantly, improving your life, improving you and to continue to have that self-work. It's an ongoing journey, right? We all can probably say, Look at this and say life can be an emotional roller coaster, right? Well, and that, that is a true statement. And what I want to share with all of you, if, if life is an emotional roller coaster and life is hard, let's not be so hard on ourselves. Let's have a little more compassion and patience with ourselves and with others. I certainly think that all of us can do our part in the world today to make it a better place. You know, there's a lot of things that go on that kind of fill our mind. Well, let's try to fill our mind with positivity. Let's try to fill our mind with gratitude. Let's try to fill our mind with peace, love, and health, and happiness for others. Yeah, you better buckle up here, folks. We're going on a motivational, inspirational roller coaster. I'm going to throw a lot at you. I might get deep. I might get high level. I might just come right at you, and we're going to have some fun, too. But I want, to, I want that to resonate with all of us today is because life is a journey. It's an ongoing journey, the mental game, right? So there might be something today that and I get excited. I might talk a little faster. If you say, hey, raise your hand or shout at me, say, Nick, slow down for a second. We'll repeat that. That's fine. You know, that's cool. If you ask a question, raise your hand or shout out to me. If you interrupt, it shows that you're paying attention. It's cool. It shows that you care. You know, talking about a, a person that, I was, um, that has improved my life, this person's not improved my life, but a lot of people in my family and friend circle, my wonderful late nunny Mirabello, Josephine Mirabello, my Italian grandmother. Now, she's passed over 11 years ago, but her spirit still lives on strong today. I want to share a little story about this. I remember it vividly. It was 38 Cherry Street, Sunville, Massachusetts, and she had this pantry in Sunville, Massachusetts, an Italian grimly. Can you imagine? To like a 7, 8, 9, 10, 11-year-old kid, it was like a football field long. I mean, there was cookies and treats and chips and all this stuff all around fruit. I was like always just mesmerized about the pantry at Nunny's apartment. It was wonderful, right? And she's in the kitchen always cooking, right? Italian grandma always cooking. And so this day she was cooking pasta. She was cooking spaghetti. She was like, hey, Nicholas, go watch you cook your spaghetti. Now, Nunny didn't talk like that, but it sounds good when you're nine. <laughs> Old, you know, old. So she's like, you're cooking the spaghetti, and, you know, you're cooking the spaghetti, Nicholas, and then what you have to do, be careful because it gets hot, but when, when you think it's done, you kind of get strained out a little bit, you grab a shredder of spaghetti, and you throw it against the wall, or you throw it against the fridge and see if it sticks. And I start giggling, right? And she's laughing, she's loving it, right? And I said, why, why, why are we doing that? She's like, because you know, you, and if it doesn't stick, just keep on stirring, keep on stirring. And I share that, oh, that's all right, we're at curveball, no big deal. So the good thing is, when you I, I actually share that story in boardrooms and conference rooms today, whether it be at work. And the cool thing is it's about brainstorming. It's about thinking of different ideas that you may have. Because some ideas may stick and some don't. But don't disencourage any ideas. Always encourage people to share ideas, to share their life goals, their dreams, their aspirations. Because you know what? One idea is going to lead to the big one. So just keep that, keep that in mind as well. So it's going to come into play today. How about, I know uh, we played a quarters up game, Ted's or Teal's, I love that. Um, what if we play a game, it's a little bit of a brainstorm game. It's going to be shifting our mindset a little bit. Because today I want to make sure that each and every one of us, that we're engaged. I want to make sure this is engaging for each and every one of you. I really appreciate the audience right here. This is awesome. This is so cool, right? So I want to make sure it's engaging for you. I want to make sure it's, you feel empowered today and you walk out of here inspired. So what we're going to do, we're going to focus on the letters. G-A-M-E, and it spells what, friends? Game. game. I love good energy. All right. So now we're going to focus on just the positive mindset. Okay. We're going to focus on just the optimism. So let's right now, audience, let's focus on the letter G. And I want you to start shifting your mindset to positive words that begin with the letter G. You don't have to shut them out just yet. Think about that for a moment. I'm going to go into my little, uh, you know, think inside the box, think outside the box, throw the box away. Who knows? All right. So are you starting to brew, brew some ideas of G words that create motion, that create action. 
that move you to something that inspires you, something that's a positive word, a positive feeling. Everyone feel comfortable on that? We're just gonna we're gonna take like 25 seconds and just we're gonna shout some out. Is everyone ready? Does everyone feel feel okay? Feel confident? All right, I'm liking it. On your mark, get set, go! go. Oh, oh, are you beat me to it? <laughs> Nicely done! Oh, you can't even plan that. All right, so go. That's one word. Gratitude. Gratitude. Oh, I love that. Uh, gregarious. Nice. Oh, Don't crack glad. my. Giving. Gla Very giving. Gregarious. Greg hold on, hold on. This is great. I love the energy. Uh, giving. What? Glad. Glad. Giddy. 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 Yeah, I'm giddy up. Gracious, yes. Gun -ho. Gun gorgeous, all right. Gun ho, I like that. Giggle. Giggle. Yeah. Groovy. Whew. Groovy. Generosity. Generosity. Great. Great. Yes. Glorious. Glorious and gift. All right, that is fantastic. Wow. Um, Genuine. Genuine. Oh. oh, that's overwhelming. That's wonderful. <laughs> Can I ask for one volunteer? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to write a little bit on the, on the flip chart? <laughs> All right, nice step. Let's give her a round of applause. I teach handwriting. You so teach handwriting? Okay. Yeah. So you can pick your color. You might be up here for a little bit, but I'm going right. to give you a gift. It'll be, all, it'll be good. That begins with a G. In your name? Elise. Elise. Gallo. Gallo? Oh, you know, her last name goes with a G? Italian. Gallo? Nice. Yeah. Italian, nice. All right. And Alice. I have one of those grandmothers. You have Alice. Alice, Alice. Okay. All right. So now we're on A team, okay? On your mark, get set. Oh. Go. Yeah. <laughs> In the for the boat. Amazing. Creative morning. This guy's on fire. I love it. All right. New color. New, new color, I like your attitude, nice. Let's go with, uh, you wanna go with orange? <laughs> Boom, all right. Okay, in a moment, we're gonna shift our mindset, positive words that begin with M. All right, we'll end on mighty. Wow, fantastic. You are a rock star, that's what you are. Um, okay, new, new color, yes, yes, let's, let's do this. Purple, purple? Purple, yeah. I see. <laughs> okay, team. We're, we're shifting our mind to E. Yeah! Woo! Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Wow! A great place for coffee and tea is White Heron. So that's a $10 gift card for you. And then a game of diversions, $20 for you right there. $30 gift cards. You rock, Elise. Well done. And anyone that has a business here and works with team, reward behavior you want to see repeated. See what we just did there? Yeah, reward behavior you want to see repeated. Elise, fantastic job. Thank you so much. Okay, now if anyone here in this room, have you, if anyone in this room has had a child in the 80s or is an 80s baby, you might remember the books, Choose Your Own Adventure. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So um, I'm gonna, let's, you, you're doing this right. So uh, I like gratitude. I think we'll cover that today. We'll probably cover giving. We'll cover um, uh, gift, and uh, that's good for G. Uh, let's see, for A, definitely life's an adventure. Um, it's going to be a lot of activity today. We're going to feel alive. Uh, we're all artists in our own ways. Articulate. Uh, let's go with uh, adapt. you got to adapt in life and actualize, wow, okay? And then um, we're gonna come motivate. I'm gonna plan to motivate you, all right? Uh, we're gonna manifest the best here, ladies and gentlemen. Manifest, we'll, we'll make some magic happen, and um, we're on a mission, uh, and we're gonna be mindful, right? Okay, perfect. And then E, let's see, energy. I'll give you some energy. You already given me energy, which is wonderful. We're gonna elevate our game. We're certainly gonna evolve. We're gonna energize, and uh, I should probably exhale. <laughs> Okay. All right. Whew. This is a tool that I use for my mind every single morning. I've been doing it for eight years. My wonderful mother gifted me this book right before I started my own business in 2010. Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, The Power of Positive Thinking. He's an author. It's a New York Times bestseller. Now, he has positive thinking every day. 
So first of so this, I'm just going to give you a couple anecdotes, some things that I do, some things I've learned through my journey that you may, may resonate with you, that you can take on for your own toolbox and your own mental game and your own journey of life. So this is just an idea. So, so work with me here. When I wake up in the morning, I like to stretch. And when I say stretch, I lean over to the nightstand and grab this book. And then uh, I wish I had a day for every type of yoga. But stretch, grab some water, hydrate to feel great. You want a, one or two glasses of water when you wake up. And you fill your mind with positivity. I don't go to my phone and go through the social media or go to the news feed or turn on the radio or turn on the TV. Why? Because that tends to be a little negative and it tends to be someone else's agenda. I want each and every one of you to have your own agenda, to take control of your own destiny, your own life, and your own thoughts. So I wake up and I try to feed my mind instantly with positive thoughts. I'm just going to give quick examples. So January 1st. When you wholeheartedly adopt it with all your heart attitude and go all out with positive principle, you can do incredible things. You get that right when you wake up, you feel fantastic. February 20th, we're throwing two at you right here. When you expect the best, you release a magnetic force in your mind, which by the law of attraction tends to bring the best to you. March 13th, be sure to imagine right. For when we tend to become we see ourselves, see yourself confidently. I want to talk about that today too. Self-confidence, big thing. April 20th, today. I woke up today, I, was so, I woke up like I was so excited. <laughs> I mean, tell me if this is not magic. Believe it is possible to solve your problem. Tremendous things happen to the believer, so believe the answer will come, and it will. I can promise you, when I coached college baseball for three years, I told those college ball, ball players, positive thoughts equal positive results. Positive thoughts equal positive results. I don't want you being on the on-deck circle. You have time to step up to the plate at the game or in life and to think, oh, I'm going to strike out. No. No, don't, don't, don't weigh yourself down like that. Like I said, life can be hard, but don't be so hard on yourself. And why not step into the future real quick? October 4th, keep exercising your mind. Think health, always think health, right? So there's certain things that we can do. You know, we want to go for a walk because that's good for our heart rate. We want to go for a walk because that's good for our health. Well, read something positive. Listen to something positive. That's good for your mind. It's like taking your mind, your brain to the gym. It's incredible. Now I, I, I get all excited. I mean, I can't wake up in a bad mood, right? I'll tell you why. Because I truly think there are two choices we have in life when we wake up. As soon as that alarm goes off or it doesn't go off, when you wake up, you have two choices. You can wake up in a bad mood or you're waking up in a good mood. Guess which one I chose? <laughs> good mood today. So I think, like, if it's a cloudy day, try to bring the sunshine in your mind. If it feels like it's going to be rain today, think of rain. You know what I call rain? You know what I call rain? Liquid sunshine. Why not? Why not? Flip it to the positive. Go the optimistic route. I promise you, you're going to live a more lively and magnetic and a more joyful life when you can choose the positive road. And remember I said, it's, it's you choose your path. And don't get me wrong, because I love YouTube, right? YouTube's fun. This is probably going to be on YouTube, right? But in the morning, it's you choose. You choose your desk. You choose your thoughts. You can shape your day. It's scientific proof. Within the first 20 minutes that we wake up, our brain cycles wave, go at 10.5. Now, what that means is that your, your subconscious mind is the most impressionable that is for the day. The first 20 minutes when you wake up. The first 20 minutes you wake up, you can shape and form your day from what you listen to. I'll be honest. I listen to the news once a week. I either listen to NPR on my ride down. I benefit from an hour drive every morning. So I listen to news once a week or I get on my phone once a week. And that's it. It's too negative. And there's so much good that happens in this world. There's so much good news. There's so much great people doing great things. But we don't hear enough of it. So go find it. And choose your path. Choose what you want to think about and really feed your mind with that. Because I, I feed like a positive podcast. Occasionally sports talk radio because I'm pretty passionate about New England sports. Okay. So today's frame of mind here, team. I want us to have a core four. Our core four, here we go. When we go through this, the rest of this presentation, this talk, and engage, and the energy here is incredible, I want you to think of these four things. Number one, you. Number one is you. Keep yourself in mind, number one, you. Number two, your loved ones. Your loved ones could be your family, your significant other. It could be friends that feel like family. So number two is your loved ones. Number three, your coworkers, your colleagues. And if you're retired, that's wonderful. Your, your network, your you know, professional network. And number four is your environment. Your atmosphere, okay? So you, your loved ones, your coworkers, your atmosphere. Okay, great. All right, who, whose mind sometimes thinks is, is like this some days, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. It's, it's, there's a lot going on in our head. There's a lot going on in our lives, personally, professionally. So what we need to do, and 
I'm still learning this, but I've, I've got some good tactics and it's, it's helped, is to really decompartmentalize our thoughts, to really almost think of his, and, and th this might be a little wild, but there was a life coach and a therapist that told me this back in 2007, Dr. Richard White. And he said, Nick, think of your mind as a large file cabinet. I said, okay, where are you getting that? He's like, like, have a large file cabinet, and there's different draws inside your mind. I said, okay, I'm, I'm intrigued. Keep going. And he's like, you have family. You have friends. You have finances. You have your future. You have work. You have car. Well, all these things that we think about throughout life. What are we going to do for fun? So in almost in, like when things happen to stir up in our lives and things happen to go on that emotional roller coaster, maybe it's good just to sit down for a moment and jot them down. I literally, I'll take my journal, one of my journals, I have many, but one of my journals is I have, I'll, I'll draw it in, in like a file cabinet almost, and I'll write my thoughts, family, health, wealth, wedding. You know, that's coming up soon, which I'm really excited about. Um, <laughs> 43 days to be exact, yes, woo! Um, but you have to compartmentalize that, you have to think about that, right? So here's what we think, here's what we do, to make a to-do list. To do, to make a to-do list. You know, I wake up on Saturday, right, and Michelle and I, we have to go to Home Depot, we gotta go to Lowe's, adulting's real hard, we gotta go grocery shopping, we gotta do all this stuff to get ready for the work week, right? And all of a sudden, she'll be like, hey Nick, did you take the recyclables out? I said, no, I didn't, so I want to go take the recyclables, but you know what I do with my to-do list? I write down, take out recyclables, I check it off. Why not? <laughs> it wasn't there before, but it feels so good to check things off. So I'll do that, I will literally, I'm being transparent with you, I will go back to my things to do list and I'll just like, Two things, I'm like, wake up, boom, read a quote, boom, I did it. And all of a sudden, it's like 10 a.m. and I get like 16 check marks. I didn't even take a shower yet. It's fantastic. All right. So this number is significant. This number is really significant because the power of writing things down. I learned this back in 1999 by uh, Ed Garrity. He was on stage, 250 uh, students. And I happened to be one, and I was drooling like Pavlov's dog. I was on the edge of my seat. I was saying, what is this guy talking about? This is awesome. But the power of writing things down. We increase our chances here, team. And I'm going to call you team because me, you, us, we're a team today. When you write things down, you increase your chances by 42% of it actually happening. It's an incredible process. It's a subjective process. It goes from your mind to your, to your heart, to your mind, to your fingertips, down to the pen, to the paper. You put it down on paper, it becomes reality. I learned this stat in 1999, and I heard that quote in 2004 from my boss, Steve Yaros. If you write it down, it becomes a reality. And that was constantly engraved in my mind. So write things down. And if you're writing things down today, hey, good for you. All right. Compassion. Is, I can promise you it's a rock solid, rock solid foundation in life. Just to have a little more compassion. Have more compassion with yourself, more compassion with others, with your loved ones. And remember, your core four, you, your loved ones, your coworkers, and your environment. Oh, I love this. <laughs> it's special because I want each and every one of us, it doesn't matter what age or what stage of life that you were on, to be more confident, to love yourself more, to look in the mirror and smile. And you know, this guy's saying, damn, I had a good journey and I'm still going and I'm loving it, you know? Don't worry about the imperfections of life. That's what makes us human beings. We all have imperfections. We all have flaws. Don't worry about them. Don't focus on what you don't have. Don't focus on what's wrong. Focus on the positive things. Just continue to shift your mindset each and every day. You know, a uh, trivia question. When we uh, talk about movies and films, when they say CGI, does anyone know what CGI stands for? Computer-generated image. Computer generated image. All right there, Tim Shake. Nice job. All right. <laughs> so computer-generated images. What's, there's no computer graphics or computer imagery that's going on in the mirror every morning when you look at yourself in the mirror. But I'll tell you what a CGI can be. Confidence, gratitude, I. Say it with me. Confidence, Confidence gratitude, gratitude, I. So that's what I want you to have in the morning when you wake up. I want you to have your own CGI. Confidence and gratitude, I. Look at yourself and say, yes, you can do it. There's many times in my journey, personal, profession, I've looked myself in the mirror morning or night, and I had a pep, pep talk myself. I died. I said, you can do this. You can get through this. Whatever it takes. Believe in yourself. Oh, what a wonderful mini city we live in, right? Downtown Portsmouth. So this is a probably a common theme right here uh, when the weather gets even better, right? <laughs> but each and every one of you, at all through life and journey, you're going to come across human beings each and every day. You're going to interact with a human being. Um, if, and if you, you know, there's some days you may go to retreat and you might just meditate for 72 hours. That's more power to you. That's awesome. But through life, you're going to talk to human beings, right? Well, I want to mention something. As you're going through life, it's to help spread kindness and really focus on how people feel. 
So what I like to do is I like to break words down. And I had a good friend, uh, Bo, um, visit me about four years ago. We were playing ping pong in the office. And ping pong actually is really good. It goes, if you start to play ping pong with a coworker or a friend and you're brainstorming something, you eventually your thoughts and your minds go to the same cadence to the ping pong. So don't like play to win one another, to beat one another, just play for a volley. And like after you get after like number 26, you'll see your minds, your synapses just start flying around. And you and your partner as your ping pong will start to think of ideas. This image, this thing I'm about to break down for you right now, Bo and I thought about this playing ping pong about four years ago. So feel, get to the root of feel. Focused emotions evaluate language. Now language can be body or verbal, right? But let, just think about this for a moment. If you, we all kind of do this subconsciously, when someone walks in a room or someone walks in or to you or maybe your desk at work, you can... If you take an extra two seconds, it can make a massive difference to focus on the emotions that they're giving and kind of evaluate their body language. Because like, like let's, for instance, um, you're at the grocery store and you're about to go through to the clerk or you're at work and you're at your cubicle and someone comes over to you or you see that their body language may be a little bit down. Maybe they're having a little bit of a tough day. Maybe have a little more compassion and patience with them. But maybe you can say something or do something to cheer them up for a moment. Maybe make that difference if you can. But if not, just be cognizant of people's body language. Be cognizant of what they're, what they're saying. Because there's some times in the work world where people will come in, like crash into your cube or crash into your desk and you'll go, hey, did you get my email? It's like, whoa, whoa, like, hi, how about a high morning or a high morning? I don't know what that is. <laughs> but, but maybe like a hello or a, a, a good morning or a good afternoon. And just be like, oh, do you have a moment? Like, or or do, when, let me know when you have five minutes. Let me know when you have two minutes type of thing. Just be, because maybe they just got a text message from a loved one. Maybe their kid's sick. Or maybe they got off with a, you know, a customer was upset on the phone. Just like take a moment to center yourself. Look at them. Evaluate their body language and their emotions. It can make a world of difference. I was um, visiting a friend about three years ago. He, uh, I saw his business grow. It's a multimedia business. His name's Charles. Uh, Charles. And Charles is working with his team. And he's grown. He went from a solepreneur to entrepreneur to having a company, to having a team members at his office. So I went to go visit him, and I, and I saw they're doing video, and they're doing multimedia, and they're doing uh, photography, and they're constantly on their feet. They're constantly working, constantly moving around. And I came up there, and he had an extra pep in his step that day. And I said, Charlie, Chuck, what's going on, bud? He's like, we're getting new chairs today, Nick. And I was like... <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. All right. What kind of cheers? He's like, in fact, the UPS is coming real soon. You want to help me carry them up? I said, yeah, sure. Let's do that. <laughs> so all of a sudden, the big brown truck, what can brown do for you? They pull up. All of a sudden, we go down there. And the gentleman from the UPS, it's around 1130 AM. The gentleman from UPS, it's a hot day. He's sweating. Lugs his cheer from the box. There's more on the truck. He gets there. He kind of huffs and puffs from it. He's about to bust out the thing to sign here. And Charlie's running down the stairs. I'm right, right behind him. And he's like, hey, how are you doing today? How was your day? And he was talking right to the UPS gentleman. And the UPS gentleman looked up. He goes, I started a job at 5.30 a.m. this morning. It's 11.30. You're the first person to ask me that. Aww. Yeah, exactly. So what, what, what Charlie did was he evaluated the body language that gentleman was giving off. And after that, we got him a cold bottle of water, and we brought the chairs back and off the truck. We, the three of us did it together as a team. And he felt great, and we made an impact in his day, and he made an impact in our life because we were improving each other's moment right there. Improvements can happen like that. So think about it when you go through life. And always build bridges. Always build bridges. Don't burn bridges, build bridges, because it comes with connections. You know, connect Portsmouth to Kittery. It can also connect you to a goal, you to a dream, you to a loved one. It's so important to continue to build your network and to, you know, it was um, Jeffrey Gittimore's book, The Little Red Book of Selling. The first sentence in that book is, it's not work, it's network. It's not work, it's network. And just continue to build that network and build those bridges in your life, because they can go, do massive things. In the four most powerful phrases in life, does anyone know them? Love. Lo loves it. I love you. I am sorry. I forgive you. Thank you. Let's go with five. I need help. I need help, right? So if it's, remember your core four, you, your loved one, your friends, your colleagues, your, your environment. Someone comes up to like, I love you, I'm sorry, I forgive you, I need help. That is a powerful thing. And there's sometimes in our society when people ask for help or, or, or think they should ask for help, it has like a negative connotation on it. People flip their mind to the negative. I don't want that to happen. I want people to realize that it's all about inner strength. That person's showing severe strength and grit to come through and say, you know what, I need help. And you know what, if you have a chance to help that human being, that loved one, do it. 
makes massive things. So build bridges and know those powerful five phrases. Five, feeling alive. <laughs> Talk about feeling alive. Two of the most powerful tools in the human body are your heart and your mind. Your heart and your mind. <laughs> when you can align them and they can start talking to each other, electricity and power can take place. Sometimes my mind works a little bit faster than my heart, right? But these two are the most powerful tools inside the human body and really, really ignite the human spirit. Did you know, little fun facts for your team, positive emotions can increase the brain's ability to make good decisions. Why not? So let's think about optimism. Let's think about positive. Wake up in that good mood. Choose your attitude. Did you know that positive emotions create physiological benefits in your body? Positive emotions are great things. The mental game of life can be great. Continue to think positive. Kind of fun little cartoon. Adult responsibilities and utter nonsense. <laughs> this way the heart says. The brain says this way heart, right? That's good. Who's here been on a road like this before? Oh, yeah. It's talk about g glorious, right? Just fun. I mean, when I'm on a road like this, what, it's just like ponder city, brainstorm city. That entire windshield is cooking spaghetti for me. I love it. I'm throwing ideas out. I'm fired up. In fact, uh, this is no lie. There was um, a time recently I was listening to a positive podcast by Les Brown. It was 55 minutes long, which was perfect for my ride. I'm on 95 South. I'm coming down Elliott, Maine, down to Beverly, Massachusetts. And in that 55 minutes during that podcast, I was fist pumping, chanting yes, and bawling all in that same 55 minutes. People that drove past me that day on the highway were like, who is this guy? And my license plate says, you rock. They're like, dude, you might need help. Like, oh, what's going on there? But I was just so fired up. You know, it's just about emotions. It just got me. And it's like, so I guess what I'm saying, when you're on the road of life, continue to think positive. Feed the mind with positivity. It can do wondrous things. Oh. This is one of my favorites here, team. All right. Whew. You got to take a deep breath. I really enjoy this one. I think you're really going to gravitate towards this, right? OK. Let's all be transparent, open, honest, and candid with one another. You don't have to say it out loud, but maybe by raise a hand. Who in their life here, at one point or another, personally or professionally, has ever been nervous, apprehensive, scared about change? OK. So sometimes in life, when you get nervous about change, so I'm coming in your personal space if that's all right, OK. Sometimes in life, when we get nervous about change and, and, and things start to rattle in our mind of what we can do and how we can overcome that change, one of the best things you can do for yourself is to change your perspective. Change where you're looking at things. And uh, I need a volunteer to step on stage with me because uh, we're all through something really fun. Who wants to volunteer? Awesome. First hand right up. Fantastic. And what's your name? Amanda. Amanda, I'm Nick. Nice to meet you, Amanda. Nice to meet you. Let's give a round of applause for Amanda stepping up right here. OK. So Amanda, here's what's going to happen. We're going to um, look at this word change. What we're going to do, me, you, and this audience, we're going to create so much magic here. We're going to change the way we feel about change. We're going to change the way we think about change. We're going to even change the way it's spelled. How about that? OK. OK, you ready? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of a grammar nerd. You're going to respell it. I don't okay. know. <laughs> All right. That's All right, cool. I'm in. No, All right. In, you're in. in. You're in. 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 OK. <laughs> what is the first five letters in the word change? C-H-A-N-G. C-H-A-N-G. Chang. Chang. Yeah, there you go, Chang. Now, do you mind if I were to cross those out? Go for it. OK. I'm going to cross those out now. What letter are we left with, Amanda? E. E. OK, great. Now, I'm going to throw you on the spot here real quick. What word begins with the letter E that could also mean change? And let her, let her think. Let her, let her, let her. Some may have it. Elevate? Elevate. That's okay. It's good. Not, Not the word I was looking for, but that's okay. Elevate's on the board, too. That's funny how that works. Uh, but elevate's a good word. Uh, evolve. Ev oh, yes. <laughs> evolve. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's fantastic. So let's, we'll put it up on the screen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Right? So this is important to think of. Okay, so now let's give Amanda a round of applause and let me give you a gift card. Ten dollars white hair, and there you go. Thank you so much. So when 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 Amanda said elevate, and there were some other E words, 
uh, just showed them, um, I don't have any more prizes, but just showed us some E-words that you were maybe thinking of. Eradicate. Eradicate, okay, interesting, eradicate, yes. Erase. Erase, okay. Experience. Experience. Enhance. Enhance. Edit. Edit. Wow, no, fantastic. Brilliant group here. All right, so uh, let's go. I'm going to choose, if you don't mind, I'm going to choose elevate. I'm going to choose experience. And someone said enhance. What are those three words? What are the char characteristics of those three words? Improvement. Improvement. And they're all positive. positive. Yes. So when people say <laughs> good things can happen from change or great things can happen from change, you say, no, we don't just change. As human beings, we evolve. <laughs> As businesses, we evolve. Because, you know, how many people in their life, personally, professionally, have heard, oh, we can't do that. We can't change this. We've always done it this way. Oh, oh, my. Oh, smack me in the forehead with complacency. I don't like that. You've got to be recognized to be able to adapt and overcome and to evolve. And next time someone says that there's no good that comes from change, just show them this slide. I'm pretty excited about this one. It's great. I mean, look at all the goodness that can come from change. So when you have to recognize that, we don't change, we evolve. We evolve as humans, we evolve as businesses. Energy adapts, especially living in New England, everything, you know, the weather evolves every day, right? And you're probably thinking, does this guy ever slow down? Does he ever calm down? Yes, I do. It's always good to pause and reflect. I take one minute more uh, meditations every day. <laughs> hey, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a start. One minute. One minute, I go to like the balcony, I walk outside, I go no technology, no phone, no computer, no mobile device, no social media, and just close my eyes for a second, look up at some vitamin D and just relax, just deep breaths for one minute. So I want us to pause and reflect for a moment. Okay. All right, you ready to play again? Okay. <laughs> so, you know, speaking of game, right? Who doesn't love Scrabble? So game, are you ready? Are you ready to continue to work on yourself? Because we continue to climb, to work, to reach new heights in life, personally and professionally. And it takes time. It takes work. And it's self-work. But hey, this, it's, you got one life. It's no dress rehearsal. So continue to work with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. And let's have a little play of the recap game. Let's see how well we're kind of paying attention to the mental <laughs> game, right? All right. All right, team, we have two choices. We can wake up in a bad mood or what? Good mood. Good mood. If you write it down, it becomes a... Reality. And we increase our chances by how many? 42%. I gave you that one. <laughs> I got clicker happy. But stand out. 42%. You increase your chance by almost half. Do it. Write it down. Oh, our core four. We have to think about one who? You. Two. Family, Family loved ones. Co -workers. Co -workers. Co workers. Oh, wow. You guys on fire. I love it. Creative mornings. I think we can all do our part of sharing compassion and shaping the world that we want to live in, from diversity to love to where we just want to treat each other better. And the way we do that is we focus on people's how they feel. For that, take that two seconds just to see how they feel. When you go through that grocery store line and he or she maybe is not feeling that great, ask them how their day is going or give them a joke or do something. Just make them smile. I used to, before I had Easy Pass, I used to love toll booths. I was like, I was always like jacked up. I was like, when I retire, I'm going to be a toll booth attendant and give people motivational strips of piece of paper and send them on their way. So. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Okay, no, no, I like that. No, that's a good curve, but I like that. So I'll just say the motivational quote. I'm like, make today great. Liquid sunshine, it's raining, don't worry about it. Thank you very much. Feel, F E E L. So the first word, feel, is what? Focus, emotions, evaluate, language. In language, could be what? Oh, smart crew here. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Look in the mirror. See yourself as a king or a queen every morning because CGI stands for what? Courage, That's right. Have the courage to have the confidence and gratitude eye when you look in the mirror. Yes. The two most powerful tools in the human body are? Oh, it's fantastic. Do, uh, do, do you know that our heart on an average Beats, I did this math, I had like a 10 day research project on it. Hold on, wait for it, it's coming. Uh, uh, 100,000 times a day. Average human being, 100,000 times a day, your heart beats. Do you know how many vessels and veins we have of blood flow? 
I know it's kind of graphic, a little weird, but 60,000 miles, 60,000 miles on a given day, blood is flowing from our heart to be, uh, to have our brain and body work. 60,000 miles. Do you know the earth is just under 30? It's almost tw the circumference of the earth is like 26 something thousand miles. So your heart and your body gravitates around the earth two times of the blood flow for your heart to your brain. It's incredible, wow. remarkable. Yeah. Okay. And we don't change, we evolve. Yes. Because look at this little baby caterpillar that became a beautiful butterfly. And sometimes if you want to go where you've never been, you have to do what you've never done and evolve and embrace change. Great things can happen. Okay, now this isn't up here for a shameless plug. This is up here for MassPay, where I currently work with right now. This is my newest project. I was very grateful back on September 7th, two years ago, I was uh, asked to be the full-time chief inspiration officer of MassPay, based out of Beverly, Massachusetts, HR and payroll company. And I get to inspire and motivate our team on a daily basis, work on our culture, our core values, and just keep our team motivated, keep them inspired. I love it. Some people may hide, like, oh, Nick's coming again. They run away from me sometimes. <laughs> But, but, but our CEO and founder, Jason Maxwell, told me, he's like, Nick, I want to create a division for you to lead. I want you to lead a future wellness division. I really want to focus on our people, the wellness of our people, and our clients. And we have about 1,200 clients, sprinkled about 42 different states around the nation, even though we're mass pay. We're, not, we're based in Massachusetts, but we you know, pay people at the masses, if you will. So we do their HR and payroll, but now you can come to us and do wellness. And I want to share this with you because we're going to have these four pillars that it's built on. Physical health, emotional, mental health, relationship health, and financial health. And then envision buckets like workshops, 60-minute workshops geared to these pillars underneath. And we're going to start roaming New England to find mass pay wellness ambassadors. So you probably have your own career, your own job, and you want to do something on the side or something fun to really improve the life of others, improve the life of others, right? Uh, you can do it in those four different buckets. So we're going to create a really healthy network of mass pay wellness ambassadors. And guess what? I get to work with you. Well, I get to brainstorm <laughs> and have a blast. So that's what that is. Now, this next slide, and we're almost coming to the end here, folks. You've been a fantastic audience, amazing energy. This next slide's a bit busy, but it kind of explains my uh, little career journey here. This was me, circa 2014, because I thought that hairstyle was looking good that day. Yeah. Um, so MassPay was UROC's first corporate client. When I first started UROC, I was working with um, youth groups, church groups, yoga studios. It was wonderful. I was making a massive impact. I wasn't making that much money, but I was making a massive impact, right? And I said, wait, i got to start to work with um, corporate clients, maybe that really care about their people, and it kind of maybe can you know, build a nice threshold of, you know, start working with other people. So I would create these three-hour experiences, not events, but experiences where you come in and who has ever heard of a vision board before? Yeah. Oh, nice. Whoever made a vision board before? Nice. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So they would come in on Inspiration Street. I'd decorate the room. We'd have a blast doing it. And then that's our CEO and founder right there, Jason. He invested three hours with Nick Mirabel, who was uh, you rock. I was the solopreneur. And they had an amazing uh, time. And then after that, I did like, you know, snail mail thank you notes to him and just kind of kept that relationship alive. And then fast forward, he's like, Nick, I want you full time. You don't have to dissolve you rock, but I want you full time with Mass Pay. How about the chief inspiration offer? How does that sound? I said, yeah, where do I sign? Sign me up for that. <laughs> and it was really special. And then what you, it's the power of visualization. So the power of visualization is so important. And then I was able to, after Mass Pay, it snowballed. I got to work with 50 different companies in eight different states. Um, this was uh, Ohio, this great uh, company. It was every year we did vision board parties with them. It was wonderful. And then this one just speaks volumes. So look at the body language of these young kids. They're jacked up. They're fired up for their future. It's wonderful. And they dreamed with, they did this within 90 minutes. And it's so great because that's what it's all about. Our youth is our future. Let's inspire our youth because they are our future. I got to talk with one of the moms of this student last summer. I was doing a uh, a talk and she came up to me after she goes Nick I just want to let you know that you worked with my son at Winnicott High School he's now a senior he put his five dream schools on a board and he gone to all five oh. and one was Princeton University which is pretty awesome this kid's brilliant but it's in I just give people the tools and the confidence and the inspiration let them go and have fun with it because when you're building a vision board you literally take a magazine you, no technology which is incredible take a magazine Scissors, glue stick, and a board. And you start to flip, flip through these magazines. As you flip through these magazines, you start to see images and words and pictures and quotes that jump off the page of you that you didn't even know were there, that move you, that inspire you. And then you build a collage. And then you look at it for at least five seconds a day, just five seconds. Remember, because when we write things down, we increase our chance by 42%. Well, this way, we're writing it down just in a very creative way. 
which is incredible. The power of visualization is amazing. We talked about manifest. We talked about you manifest the best. What you see, if you can see it, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. So, does anyone recognize that they have a magazine underneath their seat right now? <laughs> Let's play a game. Let's get the magazines out here, team. We're going to play a game to wrap things up here. We're playing a game. So I just want you to take like two, min two minutes, just flip, flip through this magazine, and just see if you see a picture or an image, just tear it out, rip it out, dog ear it, and this is your magazine to keep. So what I want you to do, that can kind of propel you to create great things. That image that you found today, either put it in your wallet, stick it on your fridge, put it on your bulletin, throw it in a notebook, that will start to manifest. So one of the vision boards and visualizations for you to make you feel good, to make you do great things, and to really refresh, re-energize, and remind what you want to achieve in life, what you want to obtain. Because I can promise you that no matter what stage or age of the career you're on, it's never too late to create the life you want to live and the things that you want to do in your life. So see it come true. Create that vision that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning, read a positive quote, do something great, feed your mind with positivity. I can promise you do that, beautiful things will be on the horizon. Beautiful things. I'm going to wrap up here as we're all on the road of 2018. Here we are, April 20th, 2018. And I, I, I grab my, my positive book here. I'm going to share one of my favorites with you as we conclude this incredible creative mornings. And I thank you all. Eliminate the word impossible. Eliminate it from your conversation. Drop it from your thoughts. Erase it from your attitudes. Stop rationalizing it. Cease excusing it. Substitute it for that bright and shining word, possible. Right? Yes. I like that. Now, sometimes I go to Webster's Dictionary. I got to look up some words to really get to the roots of words. So I said, you know what, Nick? Let's look up the word impossible. Let's really get to the root of what impossible means. And I cut it out of the dictionary, and I cut it out of my life. I cut it out of the dictionary, and I cut it out of my life. Why? Because impossible is nothing. You can achieve if you believe. You can achieve if you believe. So I started doing this in 2010. I cut the word impossible out of the dictionary, out of my mind, out of my mental game of life, and things started to become possible. Because I can promise you great things can happen. And I truly, genuinely want each and every one of you to continue to improve your own life and improve the lives of others around you. And I truly wish you all the best and nothing but success. Thank you so much.